the top 10 countries with the best education. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello and welcome to another informative video from Alux.com. Today we're diving into the world of education and the top 10 countries with the best systems. Education has been in the world for centuries, of course. However, the first established school in the Americas was in 1635. But in all actuality, education can be dated all the way back to biblical times. As a general whole, people have a desire to learn. They want to know about politics, philosophy, literature, theater, and many other areas. The word education is derived as a process of receiving or giving systematic instruction, especially at a school or university. It seems our brains are thirsty and eager to learn. It's because of structured education in schools and universities that helps the world progressively move forward. If it weren't for an education system around the globe, then the development and progression of mankind would be at a standstill. Without further ado, let's dive in. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. Number 10, New Zealand. New Zealand is known for many things, breathtaking scenery, Lord of the Rings films, food, and so much more. They're also on our top 10 list for the best education around the world. The budget for national education in New Zealand is 13.183 million. Their structures start with primary school, laying the foundations for further development of minds. For primary school, the school year varies between most of the schools, but in most cases, primary students attend from early February until mid-December. Then following primary comes the secondary or middle school or high school, which runs from the later part of January until late November or early December. Once students complete secondary, they have the option to continue to universities. In New Zealand, there are approximately 762,682 total students attending primary and secondary schools. Of that number, 88% of them gain a secondary diploma. Number 9. Close by we have Australia. Moving over to New Zealand's neighbour, we have our number 9 spot, Australia. School in Australia lasts for 13 years. It starts with preschool and then moves on to preparatory or kindergarten. From there, the school progresses to primary school, secondary school, and then senior secondary or college. There's a variety of schools ranging from public and private schools to faith-based and educational philosophies. They pride themselves on small class sizes. The limit of students in the classes cannot exceed 30, and all their teachers are university trained and specialize in their specific area of education. The schools in Australia do not only educate their students, but they also prepare them for life. The budget of Australia's schools is an astounding $489 million. The first school in Australia was established in the 1830s. Number 8. The United States of America Education in the States is made up of private, public, religious, and home schools. The annual budget of the Department of Education is $68 billion. The structuring for most schools is based on ages. Head Start with the ages of 3 to 4 years old. Preschool at the ages of 4 to 5. Next comes Primary, where they start at 5 or 6 years old. Students then move through the years until they reach high school. After that, it's no longer required for students to go to school. In fact, if a child is still in school when they turn 18, they have the option to drop out without penalty. For those who continue through their high school, they have the option to continue on to college or university. Approximately 81.5 million people are enrolled in schools, with 81% gaining a secondary diploma. The number drops drastically to 30% of students finishing post-secondary or college. In 1823, a man by the name of Samuel Hale created the first normal school in Vermont with hopes of improving the quality of life. Number 7. Norway Education in Norway dates all the way back to 1153. This is when the first cathedral schools were introduced. These schools were used to educate priests. In 1537, those schools were then converted into Latin schools. All market-type towns were required to have this type of school. 
Today, though, the Norwegian school system is broken up into three different parts. There's the standard elementary school that caters to children from the ages of 6 to 13. These years are spent playing games that are educational and learning things such as basic addition, the alphabet, and social structures. The second level is lower secondary school, from the ages of 13 to 16. Here the students finally begin to gain marks for their grades. Finally, there's the third level, which is the upper secondary, ages 16 to 19. Here, 93% of upper secondary schools are public, and until 2005, any private schools were deemed illegal. Norway has extremely high taxation levels. This is because the country heavily invests in education for the young minds of the country. It costs approximately 14000 per student from primary all the way up to tertiary. Number 6. Denmark The history of the Danish education system is fascinating. Its origins begin with the cathedral schools and monasteries, structured by the Roman Catholic Church during the early Middle Ages. Believe it or not, seven of the schools developed in the 12th and 13th centuries are still in existence. In 1536, schools were taken over by the crown to teach them how to read, write, and how to speak languages such as Latin and Greek. In the country of Denmark, education is very important. The public school systems and education system is paid for by taxes. By going this route, education is free. There's also numerous private schools. Every five out of six children attend public school while the remaining attend private school. The schools typically are for children below the age of 16. And approximately 82% of students decide to continue on with their education. And Aluxers, if you like this video, then check out our 15 tips to manage your time better. All you have to do is click in the top right corner to check it out. Number 5. Belgium Once upon a time, there were disagreements between religious schools and state schools. Some believe that Catholic schools should not be funded by the government. In Belgium, the unemployment rate is only 3%, thanks, in large part, to tertiary or a college education. Not only are the unemployment rates the lowest, but on average, teachers make $74,000. There is roughly four levels of education. The first level begins with children the age of two years old. This is the age they start to develop cognitive skills and how to communicate and expand their creativity. The next level is primary school. This level goes on for six years and is broken up into three cycles. Secondary education is the next level. Children will move on to this level at the age of 12. This is where they choose their paths and what their area of interests are. From secondary school, students then have the option to continue to higher education. These include universities. Number 4. Switzerland About 86% of Switzerland's population has gained a secondary education. The age ranging from 25 to 64 years old. The government estimates that $61,000 is spent on each student per year. This is well above the European average of $9,500. On average, education in Switzerland lasts anywhere from 9 to 11 years. Some children begin school as young as 4 years old and will continue on until they reach 15. There are a wide variety of schools in Switzerland that give plenty of options. There are private schools and public schools as well as bilingual and international schools. Standards for students in these schools are exceptionally high. In Switzerland, education falls on the government's responsibility. Over 90% of all students entering the secondary schools fully complete the process and move on to higher education. Therefore, Switzerland can claim their spot as number four because of their open access to different types of education. Students can often attend their choice of university. Number three, the Netherlands. Along with colorful buildings and stunning architecture, it's no surprise that the Netherlands ranks high on the list of education. Over one-third of people ranging in age from 25 to 65 have some kind of degree from a university. This is higher than most countries by an astounding 24%. There are various types of schools in the Netherlands. Public schools allow for secular education and are funded by the state. These schools are open to all children starting at the age of five years old. Then there are private schools that are largely centered around faith. There are private schools for Protestant, Islamic, Catholic, and many others. Unlike most countries, private schools in the Netherlands are funded like state schools. 
This is what makes the Netherlands stand out because in most cases with other countries, private or religion-based schools are privately funded by scholarships or by legal guardians. There are international schools, private international schools, special schools for special needs, iPad schools, and schools that use bilingual instructions to teach their students. Number 2. Finland Teachers in this beautiful country are required to earn a Master's of Education degree before they can even apply for a teaching position. Finland has been considered unorthodox when it comes to their education system. Children in this country don't start school until they are seven years old, and unlike other schools worldwide, children rarely do homework or take exams until they reach their teens, and they spend 30% less per student than the United States. This gives it the highest rate for college students in all of Europe. When looking at students in secondary schools, 93% of all of those students graduate and 66% choose to further their education with college, while 43% of high school students choose to attend vocational schools. The number of graduating children in Finland is 17.5% higher than that of the United States. Children in elementary and primary school get an average of 75 minutes of recess each day. This is believed to help center the children's focus and allow them to reach their maximum potential. Number 1. Singapore Singapore comes in at number 1 for having the highest regarded education in the entire world. However, that doesn't mean it's by far the easiest. In fact, it often has been dubbed as the pressure cooker of educational places. This is because of the intense course studies and the firm hand the teachers rule with. While Finland's methods are more relaxed and easygoing, Singapore's are far more strict. On average, one out of every two parents spends $500 a month on their child's tuition. Before a child begins school, parents must register their child a year in advance. This is just for them to begin preschool. Preschool for most countries is considered an option. However, in Singapore, preschool is essential for the education of the child. It's typically one year of nursery and two years of kindergarten. During this time, the children will learn basic language as well as writing skills. The government spends more than one-fifth of its annual gross domestic product on the education system. There are 30 international schools in Singapore. These fees can cost up to $40,000 a year. The education is fast-paced and hardcore, with studies packed in as tightly as possible, pushing their students to reach their fullest potential. Therefore, Singapore comes in at number one. And there you have it, Aluxers, the top 10 countries with the best education systems in the world. There are numerous other countries that have got great education systems. However, it's the exceptional resources of the individual governments of these countries that puts them ahead of the rest. Now that you know which countries have the best education systems, we're curious. Which country would you like or would have liked to gain your education? You've made it this far, Aluxers, and that is so cool. As a special thank you for sticking with us until the end, here's your special bonus facts. China has the highest homework rate of all other countries in the world. If you're a teenager living in Shanghai, be prepared to do roughly 14 hours of homework per week. And the King School in Canterbury, UK, is home to the world's oldest boarding school. It was established in 1567 and is still fully operational with all up-to-date features. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy. Or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.